guys, Jessica here with The Pet Parenting Reset. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. I am a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. And on this channel, we talk about all things dog training, dog behavior, cat behavior, cat and dog nutrition, and enrichment. So on today's episode, we are talking about why your dog follows you. I've done videos on this in the past and they are actually some of the most popular on my channel. So I wanted to revisit it cut to the chase, get you X, Y, Z. There are a number of reasons that could be happening with your dog, so let's get into it. Okay, so your dog is following you around all the time and some of us may think it's cute, some of us may think it's really annoying. Bottom line is we need to understand what's happening to be able to help our dog get whatever they need so they don't feel that they always have to be on our heels, right? So if you are the kind of person that wants, here it is, here it is. If you want some detailed explanation, we're gonna go into that in just a minute. First and foremost, dogs are pack animals. They live in family units and they look to you as a parental figure in that pack unit. So they want to be near you. They want to be, if you look at wild, uh, dog packs or even wild wolf packs, which, which our dogs are descendants of, they are a family unit and the offspring in the, that family want to be near and around their, their parents because they learn from them. They need to, to find out what to do to be able to live on their own <laughs> once they're grown and have their own family. So they want to be near you, that's genetic. Secondly, there are certain types of dogs that are actually bred to be by your side. Certain working dogs, herding dogs for instance, they're bred to be right by their owner's side so that they can be out in the fields and take cues from their owner to do their job. Another reason is that positive reinforcement, which is how we train our dogs, at least the appropriate way to train our dogs, teaches our dogs that we are the source of good things, so of course, our dogs are gonna to wanna to be near us. Now, for some dogs, if you are that kind of person that every time you get up and walk anywhere into another room to the front door and your dog follows you, it could be because your dog is anticipating something. They are anticipating going on, that W word, a walk or a car ride or going to the park, right? They could be anticipating something good based on your behaviors and actions. And of course, there's also the issue of separation anxiety. Now, I feel as though we're, I'm recording this in the year 2022, we are at, like, we're, we're peaking with the number of dogs, like we're up here, right? With the number of dogs that are, uh, it, it's, a, it's a gradual increase in the number of dogs that are experiencing separation anxiety. There are a lot of reasons for this. I'm seeing it more and more and more in, in the homes I'm going into to train, um, in the people that I converse with on social media. I'm seeing separation anxiety more and more and more and more and more dogs. This is very unfortunate and I would highly recommend checking out the videos that I have done on separation anxiety. I will link them in the description below if you feel your dog meets that criteria. But those are some of the main reasons why your dog could be following you around. Now let's go into a little bit more detail. All right guys, so let's get to it. You are your dog's whole world. Your dog may be a small part of your world, but to your dog, you are their whole world. You provide them shelter, you provide them clothing, you provide them with clean water, you play with them, you walk them, you take them places. You are everything for your dog. Yes, they may have other people in the household, and yes, they may have you know doggy friends that they have play dates with, but in general, you are your dog's whole world. So take that into account when you're thinking about oh my goodness, why is my dog constantly with me? Of course they are. You are everything to your dog. And when we add on top of that positive reinforcement training, you are also the source of everything good. Even if you're not actively training with your dog, uh, you are still pretty much the source of everything good. If you think about you're providing them a bed to sleep in, you are providing them their food regardless of the kind of food you're feeding. Um, of course, we wanna feed as species appropriate as possible, but you are the source of their food. You are, you, you're everything for your dog. You are providing them a home to live in. So yes, it stands to reason that your dog will want to be with you all the time. 
Okay, let's get just a little bit into detail here about behavior and communication. Your dog is trying to communicate with you, like a lot. Probably a lot more than you realize and certainly a lot more than you're picking up on. Now, if your dog is following you, they may want or need something. That is also really important to understand. I'll give you a little example here. My dog does not bark to let us know that she needs to go out to potty. In fact, if we are sitting on the couch at night watching TV and she's sitting, she likes to lay in between my husband and I, she will, if she needs to get up and go potty, she's the only way she's gonna tell us is she's gonna sit up and stare at us. Now, that can be a little creepy to some people. And for my husband, it took him a long time to get used to this. He was like, what in the world does she want? I figured out that she needs to go out and go potty. So anytime she gets up and sits, instead of laying down and stares at either me or my husband, I get up and I pause the TV, get up and take her out to go potty because that is her tell. That is her way of communicating to me or to my husband. And I'm not saying this is exactly how your dog is gonna do it because every dog is an individual, but that's an example of very easily somebody could just look at that and be like why are you being creepy stop it right instead of what are you trying to tell me what do you need what do you want this <laughs> is a really good example of honestly in many many ways um, a communication from my dog that most people would not understand at all i just happened to say okay I know you're trying to tell me something and I went through a list of, it didn't take me long because going out to potty was, was up pretty close to the top of the list and I figured it out. That's my dog's way of communicating to me that <laughs> she needs to go potty. If your dog is constantly on your heels following you around, they could be telling you something similar. Maybe they need more enrichment in their lives. Maybe they need more confidence. Maybe they need to be fed. Maybe they need to be walked. Maybe they need to go out and potty. Look at your dog's cues, start really paying attention. Your dog is more often than not trying to tell you something and more often than not, you're not figuring it out properly or quickly enough. <laughs> and just to kind of tie that up, put a pretty little bow on that, a lot of times our dogs do not have enough stimulation in their lives. So the only thing for them to do is follow us around. So if your dog is constantly on your heels, that might be, like if I were to come into your home, of course I don't know much, I don't know anything about you and your dog um, as individuals or your home life, but that would be my first thing that I would look at is how much enrichment is this dog actually getting? How much does this dog have to do in a day? Because being on your heels may be an indication that they are just bored out of their minds and it's the only thing they have to do. There you go, there's that nice, neat little bow to tie that up at the end. Now, okay, yes, it still could be, at the end of the day, separation anxiety. As I was saying in the beginning, I'm seeing more and more and more and more dogs suffering from separation anxiety. I think this has a lot to do with the illness that we all had to deal with. You know, a lot of us are still dealing with it, um, where we were locked up in our houses and our dogs wound up locked up in there with us. Uh, there's there's a lot going on. There's a lot of weirdness in the world right now that I think is contributing to our increased anxiety, which by the way is affecting our dog's anxiety as well. So if our anxiety is up, our dog's anxiety is also up. And separation anxiety can be something that your dog is going through. I'm not going to be able to diagnose your dog without, you know, interacting with the two of you to figure it out. But if you feel like separation anxiety could be something your dog is going through, again, uh, my previous videos on separation anxiety will be linked in the description. Also, I actually have a mini course um, on how to identify and start treating separation anxiety and your dog is absolutely free to you. I will also link that in the description below. So what do we do, right? We've got all this information now as to why your dog may be following you what is it that we do about it? Well, if it is separation anxiety, we need to treat separation anxiety. Let me tell you, not all trainers are equipped to deal with uh, separation anxiety. 
First and foremost, you do want to seek out a positive reinforcement trainer, but you want to seek out a positive reinforcement trainer that has dealt with separation anxiety. Um, I don't want to stay on the topic of separation anxiety too, too much because it's only one possibility. Other possibilities, again, are that your dog is bored and needs something to do. Well, we need to be adding more enrichment to our dog's lives. There is a post I did on Patreon. If you are not part of the Patreon family, I highly recommend you join. Um, the link is in the description. You get bonus content, behind the scenes, all the wonderful things, first look, and you can get it all for as little as a dollar a month and help support content like this going out to you and other pet parents like you. It's a win-win. But I did, I've, I've done a few posts on enrichment, on giving your dog a job. There are, there's so much information there that I haven't posted anywhere else. I highly recommend you check that out. Now, positive reinforcement training is incredible for you and your dog for a number of reasons. Yes, it is gonna build that bond between you and it is going to make you the source of good things. However, is also going to build your dog's confidence. And that is something we really wanna instill in our dogs from a young age and throughout, continuing throughout their entire lives, build confidence in them so that they are okay being without you for periods of time. Of course, not long periods of time. We don't wanna leave our dogs alone for long periods of time, but for the periods of time when they need to be alone, they're gonna be okay because they have confidence. And positive reinforcement training innately builds confidence in our dogs. So with that, I'm also going to lead you to another link in the description for my online training. This is a video-based training that you can access for a monthly fee. Use it only as long as you need to use it for. It is all positive reinforcement methods. It shows you there are some of me instructing you. There are some of me showing you how I teach with other people and their dogs in their homes. It's a really robust course. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, that link is also in the description. All right, so those are some of the reasons, some of the main reasons why your dog may be following you around and some of the things you can do about it. I hope this video was helpful. Um, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, why not? Go ahead and subscribe, click, click that subscribe button down there and uh, make sure you are following the podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, listen, listen to, your, to the Pet Parenting Reset wherever you get your podcast. Um, there are some really incredible interviews on there. I really hope you check it out. And again, just a reminder, make sure you are following. You are a, a wonderful, wonderful oh, part of the incredible community, by the way, we have over on Patreon. You can join for as little as a dollar a month. With that, please give your pet some extra love from me. If you have any comments, questions, leave them below. Reach out to me on social media. That's it for now, guys. See you next time. Bye.